When I first started doing these, I was like, this is great. I get to eat whatever I want. When I was good, I was good. When I was not good, I was not good. <laughs> I don't think we could have survived more than 30 minutes to an hour out there. I'm I'm a weak old man. Is that your entire load? I braced for impact. That was chasing me. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering when you were gonna like just finally realize you got this. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name's Ryan. Last week I posted a video that was a recap of the 2021 Trans Am bike race. It featured snippets of a finish line discussion between Evan and Craig, the top two finishers. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it right here. In response to that video, a lot of folks asked to see the full discussion, so that's what we have here today. The video is fairly long and it's mostly unedited footage, so I went ahead and put timestamps in the description below to help you navigate the content. If you just enjoy listening to two guys talk about bikes and ultra distance bikepacking, I suggest you treat it like a podcast. Grab a beer, sit down, and just listen to the two of them talk about their adventures. Please consider subscribing to the channel and enjoy. Hey, congratulations, congratulations man. Great race. Great race. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I didn't know if you had a, had it out already. Sure. Yeah. Are you headed out tomorrow? Cool. You get some sleep? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Where are you staying down here? Yeah, at the hostel, yeah. Oh, it's good. They totally rebuilt the hostel. So. You wouldn't recognize it. Oh, really? It's it's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's really nice. Oh, I'm glad you got some sleep. Yeah. Oh, dude, incredible race. Man. Yeah, you, you put the pressure on. I know. That was fun. That was really fun. So, I, I, yeah, at I, the I, end, I wanted to just say, hey, sleep. I'm, I'm good. I'm not <laughs> I'm not coming back. Yeah, I've got the utmost respect for you. No, I, uh, okay. oh, believe me, I, I have a great yeah. respect for you. So I'm good to be really happy for you. <laughs> yeah. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. I was thinking about that coming in. Wouldn't let me in. Yeah. And <laughs> it didn't, didn't sleep. <laughs> I know. Are you yeah. When's the her? last time you had a, a night of I sleep? I slept like an hour and a half. A lot of nights. Yeah. Because you put so much pressure. Where on. were you sleeping? Like, were I, you stopping at like hotels or I just like churches at and stuff? But it yeah. Was like, it was just a I, short. I, I yeah. didn't do. I, I was watching. Told you needed one of those. Oh, thank you. Oh, that looks great. Thank you. I was watching and I would see your dot and it's like, man. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you no, know, it was incredible. Like you said before the race, yeah. to keep the pressure something? on each other. Right, yeah, like, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, that yeah. was fun. You guys made a great race. That was. Yeah. It was fun, it was fun. Cause not, it's not that often that, that yeah. I know, it was, that close. it was incredible, man. Yeah. So I just started struggling once I got to the Appalachians. That's you know, when it. I, I couldn't believe it. It was, it was like I thought you were going to catch me, and it was like I'm not sure what happened, honestly, because I, I, I felt great. I, I felt great, and stop, then I just and it was like, oh man, I got yeah, a chance. You know, I know, I no, that I don't know what it was. Like I just, uh -huh. you know how you just you're going, and yeah. it's hard to predict. I, yeah. I cut sleep one night, and maybe I shouldn't have done that because yeah. I was on a good rhythm, but I didn't think I cut it that much. Sure. I didn't feel that tired, and then it just kind of yeah I oh, do I loved it it was it's the best a, race of yeah. ever ran yeah it was yeah. fun it was it really was so fun cool it was, it was fun because so cool. I, I struggled that first week I mean I don't know what was happening well, we, you know, I almost we didn't get to kids. Dylan well I got my my feet got wet yeah. and I got athlete's foot in the worst way did you could, oh it was painful it was so painful what, what is it yeah because uh, I couldn't I couldn't get my feet dry and right it was like they turned raw I actually and, think that 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 may have been sort of my downfall is okay. all sure. the cold yeah we, I think it's I thought when you were stress. kidded the first day, yeah. I was like, how's she going to take that? And yeah. It was, I was concerned That's about actually you. the warmest kid I've ever had. Really? For this race. It, it's by far the coldest. Oh, God. We I had so it, much cold and so much rain. and Sure. It's a big stress to the body to I come know. back from that. Well, and I, I think it, I, it I do well in the heat. Damage. I don't do well in the cold, sure. generally. And sure. I think that that really did affect me. Yeah, you had warmer clothes for sure. I, and, and I thought they gave me a slight advantage. Yeah, yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. yeah. That's good to see it's you, man. Good, good to see okay. you. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just, was worried about you, man. <laughs> oh, I was taking some long breaks at the end. I watched. I, well, I saw that. After, I watched the basketball Pippa game passes, last yeah. night. You know, it was funny going into Pippa passes. I realized. I was just sort of like taking my time that morning and I realized I didn't want to ride it at night after that dog bite. I was kind of, I'm kind of traumatized I by that. I sprayed seven dogs. Did you? Yeah. Oh, it was, I had the, yeah. I had the spray on my arrow bars. Yeah. You know, I bought like, an air horn and, and I tried to use it. It didn't work. And oh, the safety no. was off and everything, but like, <laughs> so I, I didn't have anything again. Sure. Yeah. But I luckily, I kind of slow pedaled so I could ride yeah. some of that in the light yeah. because that is just, 
there are just dogs everywhere. I know, man. Oh, I had 12 awful. times the yeah. dogs came after me. I sprayed seven of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, Did I, you have that much spray in that thing? It was almost yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, was like, you got to like save it for the, for the final left. pit bull. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Oh, I, you know, when we left Harrodsburg and you were yeah. chasing me up yeah. there, I was like, I came up to the reservoir and yeah. I got past the reservoir and it starts undulating and just like, and I like, I hear this click, click, click of this yeah. pit bull. Oh. I look down and he's like right there and well, I, got my, I sprayed him yeah. and I thought I was done. Right. They there keep was coming. another oh, dog no. that came after me, and I couldn't barely yeah. see him, so I just waved it like that. Yeah. And I got the son of a bitch. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. No, there. Are, the the two dog. I had a really a far worse one than that pit than the Trans Am sure. one about a year later in Columbia, but sure. both times I I didn't know until it, I couldn't even reach for anything. Yeah. I was just trying to stay on the bike. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, and not yeah. get pulled down. Yeah. So. Exactly. Yeah. So, oh gosh, I can't wait to get out of these God, clothes. Baby, oh God, that's all, all I care there. about right now. That's all sure. I care about. Oh, is man, getting I'm out so of these things. You. I'm, I'm glad you're. I'm yeah. glad you're here and healthy. I know. Oh yeah. You know what? Honestly, like just to be, just to finish safe. I hope everyone sure. finishes safe. There's yeah. some. There's some bad stretches. Today was bad. Yeah. I, it's it's all in the timing. Sure. I went around Richmond at rush hour. And oh God, it, I know it's, it's. Oh, I was really I stressed out by that. I, I actually got off the road for about thirty minutes because I, I that's just. That's the name of a new horror movie coming out. Huh? Oh yeah, it was. It's not. Uh, so you I think do bike the, nonstop. Yeah, man, yeah I was gonna say. You, I think. I think you love it compared I, I, to I was, this. I was thinking about it. I'm not sure. I'm doing another long get race. Your, get but, your open up. Yeah, I know. Ready, man. But I think I think we need to start advocating for bike nonstop. I do too. Yeah, it's I, a I better route. It's a better route complained of or has commented about going around Richmond. Who did? You're not the first. Oh, it was, so I left, in years past, I've always left Charlottesville like super early. Hmm. So Charlottesville leaving, I left it like, I just took my time this morning. I left at like eight. It was terrible leaving that, you know, the Thomas Jefferson Parkway is really too crowded for a bike at that time of day. And then, yeah, then to hit Richmond at rush hour was, it was really, really bad. I mean, to the point where like, I really did. I pulled over for 30 minutes and Would, thought, I just either need a break, I need to let, maybe right, the traffic yeah, will, will die down, because it was right at like 5.30, so I thought, you know, give it a little time. It was not I, safe. Uh, you remember, uh, uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Okay. Appreciate it, though. Hey, yeah, really thank you, though. We got some more in the cooler there. I got some yeah. watermelon if you want something to munch on. Oh, that sounds great. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. You're, you're stuck about a half a mile away, so you may have to carry it off. Okay. Turn okay. It off. Let's, yeah, let's make sure I'm officially finished. <laughs> I stopped eating a while ago. <laughs> I am so sick of eating. I am <laughs> I, so I think that That's that funny. might be... Well, it's a good thing we ate the pizza before you got here. Though. That might be the limiting factor to doing too many of these, is you, you develop an aversion to a lot of different things to the point where you walk into a convenience store and nothing looks good. I know. Everything looks like a cliff bar. I'm totally right? Here, Everything yeah. looks like a cliff bar and you think You know, oh, what's funny oh, is I circled great. back thank around you. to cliff bars. Those actually tasted mm. good again. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Is that your entire load? It is. Well I've got so, a fair bit of stuff on. I mean, is oh, there no. a tent and a sleeping bag? Oh no, no, no. no. We the hardcore ones don't carry that. No, no, no. <laughs> There's a bivy, emergency bivy. Yeah. Ah, dang. Wow. But Craig, did, you didn't carry a bivy, right? No. So what did, what did you guys have? Well, I used a couple doormats to cover up with when I slept outside. And uh, this one church was having a garage sale, so I found a rug that I rolled up in. <laughs> and I didn't take a close look at it, but it wasn't clean. <laughs> so, I slept on a lot of doormats. Yeah. Like yeah. naps. Yeah. I took a lot of naps this year. Yeah. I found two doormats. I used one to sleep on and one to cover myself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that was about it. Yeah. And, you know. I found I could be comfortable anywhere for those little, <laughs> a lot of little 10 minute naps. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I started doing a fair bit of those. Yeah. I could. They were, they're, I go out for yeah. those 10 minutes. Yeah. I, was I tend doing, to wake I up was right doing with 12, the 12. Yeah. So 12. Was, <laughs> okay. Yeah. 12 and I'd pass out right. and then the alarm and then, would go off and it's like, heaven's chasing me. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> so. I wasn't quite so quick to move this year. I don't yeah. know what it was. Oh. Like the mornings were slow. Yeah. But yeah. You still kept the pressure on, man. That was a great race. It, well, yeah, it was 14 fun. days, and I then know. finally at Pippa Pass, it's like you gave you I gave know. me that opportunity to get ahead of you again. And I think like, I, I just took it. that morning so slow, and I got off my rhythm. And sure, it's Appalachia. It's it's tough to get a rhythm through there. Yeah. it's a weird place to ride a bike. Sure. It is sure. weird place, and I you know by not riding well early, I had hoped to get through Yellowstone at a better time i went through like at noon and that that you know all these things are stressors like that was one of the most stressful days i've ever been on a bike and i was exhausted the next day and i think it's mentally that is not a place to ride a bike well, I the knew day. Going in, well we had the wind the day before when we turned at twin bridges yeah. and it became such a headwind yeah uh nathan told me that you got caught in some dust storms behind me yeah Oh, I got caught in some nasty stuff. Had I got kind of a bad rainstorm. Sure. And then just just the traffic through sure. Yellowstone. Well, yeah. Oh I, gosh, when I got to West, awful. when I got to West Yellowstone, I made sure that I was out of there by you know 3 a.m. or whatever, yeah. so I could get a good distance into the park before the traffic started. Yeah, 2017, I crossed in the park at like 5 a.m. Sure. and it was great. Um, you know, you got the park to yourself. There's no one out there. I mean, this year, like I entered the park, there were lines of, you know, 30 cars in each line. I mean, it was sure. just absurd. And I mean, once you're on there, people. I know. It's it's a sad state of affairs right now, <laughs> what's happening. <laughs> That's what our national parks are like, but it's not a place to ride All a right. bike. Bike nonstop, man. You yeah, I know. I, 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 I Let's do race think, that next year. I know. I'll well, race you, right? <laughs> oh God. I do think that that's. You've done them both, so you're, you could say better. I, but I, I'm going to tell you that it's a fresh in my course. mind that it's a better th- there. Course. <laughs> you know, when you draw, when you try to draw a line from one end of the country to another, it's not easy to do. And no, uh, but this route came, was 1976. Things have changed a lot, and Nathan, there were some bad sections. Na- I mean, this year you don't was get more the elevation, visible to Nathan, me. Like, yeah, he came up with a good route. Yeah. No, I had a, I had sections that I just did not feel good about riding and when I did Yellowstone certainly and then sure um, I mean yeah even like uh, Western Virginia is rough mm-hmm. I hit that in the middle of the day when I was tired and I mean you have a narrow road Where were you with in trucks and, yeah Where what's were that you in the storm here which storm <laughs> you were out in the two days ago we were two, yeah oh so that was not ideal I uh I thought I skirted, the day before, I thought I skirted a lot of, I skirted some storms and thought I got away with it. I was heading into Damascus, stopped at the Loves and head out only at 15 miles, think, hey, I'm, I made it today. Like I, I thought I was gonna get rained on more. And so the rain starts and that's the problem with these races is I look ahead and I'm riding right into the lightning storm. So I went through a major storm the night before the, the bad rain and you know lightning, which always scares me. And so that was, it was actually pretty stressful. I think hitting those at like right when you're tired, right before you're almost done for the day is really stressful. And then the next day, you, um, you know, rain for those first six hours, climbing out of Damascus. So you go up to 3,800 feet or so, and it was cold and heavy. It was heavy rain and cold. By the time I got to, what is it, Sugar Grove or Sugar something? Um, there's a little convenience store. I mean, I was shivering uncontrollably. There were probably like five times during this race that I was like to the point of like sure. not quite the first night. Oh, but God, shivering. that first night was we had awful. A, we, we rode over McKenzie Pass the first night. I mean, that was not... Stopping at the bathrooms and getting our cold gear It took on, us yeah. 20 minutes to get our stuff on because we were both, our hands were just frozen. And then I couldn't get in or out of my pedal very well. I think probably my cleat, you know, my uh, shoe covers weren't in the best position, but my hands were too cold to mess with sure. them. So that descent was just harrowing, you know, without like feeling confident, like my Were foot would either hands be numb out. enough that you couldn't get the... Oh yeah, I was, yeah. man, I was shaking. I mean, yeah. and honestly, I don't, I don't think we could have survived more than 30 minutes to an hour out there at that sure. point. I mean, we, it was, it was in the twenties and we yeah. were soaked and it was snowing at the top. It was, it was not a safe necessarily well, thing to do. That was the mutual agreement to yeah. ride together. Oh, down that definitely, thing. Yeah. definitely. We needed say, I mean, safety sure. at that point, and I, neither of us really slept. We went to a hotel. Just, yeah. I mean, that that was a 
that was one of those experiences you're just glad to be get through well, it. When we I mean, left in Sisters, I thought yeah. I'd never see it. Oh uh, no! Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. We, I was gonna sleep. I, we went. We each got our separate rooms, mm -hmm. and I, I was like, I'll get you know three four hours of sleep. I might as well. I mean, my sure. my original plan to ride through the night. And yeah, yeah. Get past Baker City was, yeah, was yeah. out I, out, out too, the window yeah, the old hero at that plan, point. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so I was like, I'll get three hours of sleep, and then I just couldn't sleep. So I went down to the lobby and Craig's already down there. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew your plan was not to sleep at that point. I was, the first like three nights, I actually did not sleep to what I expected. You know what was. And then I started just sleeping really well. What was really funny was when we got to, uh, what was it, Baker's? No, Grangeville. Mm -hmm. You got to Grangeville before me. No, I think you were you were ahead of me climbing was into it? Grangeville. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought that you were ahead of me because it was like I woke up the next morning. I looked at my tracker and it was like I thought you were already at Kuskia. Oh no! And no. I'm like, oh no, he's ahead of me. <laughs> yeah. And I like no. jumped out of bed, got dressed, and I got out of town. I checked my I checked my tracker again, or uh, I checked track leaders was, again, and it was like, you're still back there. I'm like, yeah. oh, good, I got the yeah, jump on it. I know. No, I was, <laughs> my plan was to get some sleep, but I just, those first few nights, I always have a hard time oh, sleeping sure. really well. well and then, yeah, but my course. normal state, like, after the first few nights, I sleep was easy. Like, I sure. felt, I just felt like more than i've ever had i, I slept better sure to, I, but i but that also like on the other side i'd wake up and i just did not want to get out of bed yeah. and that's unusual for me usually yeah. i jump out You're of bed very motivated, i'm yeah. very motivated <laughs> I, I had a little bit of a hard time in sure. that motivation this year like I think it's hard to recreate it. I, yeah. You know, there's a fine. I don't know. You seem like you're ready to do another race. I, I don't know. There's a finite amount of times so that I there can is. do these. And well, I think, I'm 54. I, I only have a couple more left. Yeah, me, you gotta man. no. Keep going. I I, I think I. Uh, I think I might have reached my limit. Yeah. I think I might have reached well, my was limit. Really but cool you got to Yeah, it was fun. Uh, this it was has fun. been a really, it, really, it was a really good experience. Cool experience. It was. Yeah. It was. It was. No, it so, was really fun. I love your brother, man. Yeah, it was I love. <laughs> it was great. It, it was fun. It was, it was fun. Great. No, like when you're riding out there, like even though you can't see each other, like there's like a respect that develops oh, yeah. of like, gosh, I know how hard I'm working to try to catch up. I and, so many times I check track leaders, yeah. and it's like. Oh, I've got to put five or ten miles right, on it. Right. He's like, what the hell he gained right. on me? I know. <laughs> it's funny, like you can't watch that too much because it's like yeah. dependent on where you are, yeah, what trackers, pinging, yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah. But you know, I check it every yeah. three or four hours. It's good yeah. motivation. Yeah. It's good motivation. Oh, it's so fun. Cool, it's man. fun. It's fun to have those. Yeah. Those dots. So. I got the utmost respect for yeah. you. I was wondering when you were gonna like just finally realize you got this. <laughs> well, you know, I kind of. We, we got to, the day yeah. before Pippa passed. Right. I was like, right. Oh no, I, I felt was like, good then. I just, I was like, I mean, I, I'm was, about ready to break. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, it was Pippa that I, I, I don't know what happened. I felt really good, and it just, yeah, sure. yeah just kind of. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I had, I was really inconsistent this year. Usually I ride much more consistently. Yeah. When I was good, I was good. When I was not good, I was not good. <laughs> and I had some rough days early, sure. which just out of nowhere. Yeah. I had really struggled getting into uh, Dylan. Yeah. I did not, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I felt great all the way through the West. Yeah, I well, did not. I got that 160 I did not. on you and it was yeah. like, Oh, I'm just going to blow them right, away. Yeah. And then you like came back. Well, and... the, you know what? It's interesting because I don't, I don't do well in that like drier climates. Sure. I grew up in the Midwest and like once I got down to Kansas, I'm like, oh, I finally feel better. I feel like yeah. I'm home. Well, it and the humidity, too, the heat, man. the humidity. I love it. I love the heat and the humidity. Yeah. Um, and it was hot. <laughs> it yeah, was. It hot. was. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You know, it's funny. I don't love flats, but like, yeah. for some reason, Kansas, it's where I finally got a rhythm. Sure. Yeah. Wait, and then Missouri. Back. Oh, I know Missouri you got a really good welcome rhythm. Welcome to the finish, and welcome yeah. to Virginia. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've got a, like an hour and a half drive. Yeah, yeah. No, so I really appreciate everyone coming out. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, this you gonna hang great. around for a couple days? Yeah, well, at least till Saturday. So, oh, yeah. Hopefully, I'll see you again. Okay, good. Because I'm gonna be back a time or two. Are we gonna? Are we gonna see someone tomorrow? Is he gonna? 
reach tomorrow night or? I don't know. I fly He's like out 300 tomorrow, miles so. out. So. 300? Yeah. So, so it's, it's, in, oh, it's a tough. Not Even the stretch from Charlottesville, it seems like it should be fast. It does. It's not it's easy. Not. It's not easy. <laughs> You're still stuck. Did you turn it off and back on, or what's? The, oh, I'm off. Oh wait, no, I'm on. So turn it off and back on. And I did. Did you? Because you're still stuck in the same place down Water Street. Oh, gosh. All right. You know, people were yeah apparently saying my you're, you're yeah. here. Yeah, I'm here. I'm glad. I am. Yeah, today, yeah, I to wake up tomorrow and not have to put on bike clothes is going to be the best <laughs> thing in the world. That's all I care about right now. All right. Yeah. David is the 3909 last he updated. 3909. That's going to be a tough push. But That's nearly four hours ago. So. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, thanks. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. I mean, I don't know. I guess if I was, like, really motivated, but... I got to start this one. I'm like, I'm getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can tell that you lost your motivation. I lost it. A little well, bit. yeah. I mean, at some point, it's just numbers, yeah. and I'm yeah. like, ah, I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah. Not that. Not, not that you just recover in one night, but I I lay in bed this morning yeah, and sure. watch Sports Center. And I was like, <laughs> although I calculate, I'm like, I'll still get in and li at light. And then I started riding. I'm like, well, what was I thinking? I should have gotten out a little earlier. Yeah, sure. But you know. Sure. You had a couple hundred miles it's when just, you started. What's that? You had a couple hundred yeah. miles. Yeah, it's 195 from Charlottesville. It's a... It's a good... It's break. not easy. It's not easy. It's like those roads are just... Oh, yeah. I don't know. There's there's no, there's no sort of target no. on those roads. Mm -hmm. You just kind of wind around. And, you know, with, mm -hmm. with like having one big climb, at least you got something. Yeah. It's just this... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, meandering through the countryside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can see where people go the wrong way in that section. Oh yeah. That's a. It's you. You're very disoriented on like which direction you're going. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, it's nice that it's signposted, or else, yeah. Yeah. Even yeah, I had to pay attention just getting through this parkway oh, area. <laughs> you could miss sure. a couple turns in this area. Did you make any major? You know, the only time I, I made one navigational error was when my Garmin uh, died on me. Oh, yeah. And I it was in battery save mode. And that oh. battery save mode had screwed me more times, yeah. so I run it constantly. In oh, I run, mine, mode. I run mine constantly on low light, and I got, like, I was getting, like, 35 hours, That's basically. Good. That's like, good. I, I'd finish a day, and it would only be at 50%. It was really sure. running well, but rain is the thing that gets that 830 Mm -hmm. So, like going into Damascus, it started raining, and the screen, lo you know, it just everything locked up. I tried to pull my phone out, and that's it was raining too hard to use it. Sure. So I'm like, yeah, my touch screen. I hope went... Damascus is this way. Yeah. Because I, I don't know right now, you know, and I'm just sure. just going by memory. Luckily, it was I made the right turn, but <laughs> that was a nasty storm. A lot of storms. Yeah. A lot of rain. It was. It was a, a lot of cold rain too. Yeah. Even for, even. Even, yeah. It was a different TB, TABR than 2018. Oh, that's yeah. For sure. No, I've never had one that, that that's... we. The first one I did had a, a, a big stretch of rain, but it wasn't like cold rain. Sure. It was through through Kansas, Missouri. Mm -hmm. um, pretty bad rainstorms, like flooding, but it was like warm rain. This was... There was some cold rain. Yeah. Yeah, there was. <laughs> really yeah. cold rain. I mean, even I got it in... Dylan, it I got sleeted. Uh, there was like sleet coming into Dylan. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't get any of that. Yeah. I, oh, I ended up in a. Yeah. What, what was it? One of those sub places, just trying to warm up. I was sure. Shivering uncontrollably. No. I mean, you just can't stay warm. I. I mean, I had my down. I had. I thought I had substantial clothes, but um, it's just you, when you're soaked, you can't stay warm. No. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're safe, man. I am <laughs> glad too. you're in. I am too. I just hope everyone makes it in safely. Yeah. I really do. I mean, it's, uh, it only takes one car. I, the one, the closest call I had, I posted something in Kansas after, um, after I saw the memorial. And really, Kansas drivers are really, to me, overall, really good. They're very yeah. friendly. They give you space. Mm -hmm. They wave. So I posted, you know, they've been great. You know, I think, like, the advocacy is helping. Not two miles later, I'm looking in my rear view mirror. It's a white pickup truck. Like, that thing, is it's not getting over. It's not getting over. And there's a really narrow shoulder. Sure. I got all the way over, and I'm watching it. And it's like, I am I braced for impact. And it basically scraped, like, inches from me. 
oh and never like veered so it wasn't it didn't seem purposeful i just imagine they didn't see me hmm. and you know had i not been over sure they were they were basically right on the line mm -hmm. to the you know you don't have much of a shoulder so yeah, that, that's the, the whole point strips is, and the shoulders so it just takes one that's the problem is the rot the drivers were overall really good in that's Kansas, what i'm saying bike on stop man it's a better route I'm, I'm with you i mean there there were enough sections just even today that it's, it's it's a much better route. It's so much safer. It's so unreal much safer. Safety compared has to, to this. Yeah, and mentally, it's just it's a drain. Like always mm -hmm. having cars. Well, you've got to you've got. I wrote a little thing a few yeah. years ago, and it's it's you've got to stay alert so, so much, much on this, so much. and you get sleep deprived. Yeah, it's hard. It's it, really hard. It makes it very difficult. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I I. It, as it's fresh in my mind, it's sort of a risk reward. And that's part of at the end why it just slowed down because it's sure. like, what am I taking this risk for? I was, the more tired you get, the less, the less you can focus. Yeah, exactly. And I like to know what's behind me and, and, you know, be part of that. I mean, to the point I was feeling like riding through Western Virginia, I was just had my head forward and like hoping cars would avoid mm. me. I'd rather be, you know, sure. aware. So yeah, so that's part of the reason I sort of slowed down is just safety. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah, there's, I'm trying to think other sections, but yeah, I mean, it just, that's the problem. It just takes one. I mean, most drivers were pretty, pretty good. Uh, yeah. Eastern and Oregon's where I've always been. That's the only place I've ever been purposely buzzed. That's happened to me every single <laughs> I got cold time rolled a few times. Oh, I got cold rolled a few times. A few times yeah, but, yeah. yeah. That's to be expected, that's right? To be expected. Bike, right? That's to be expected. That's to be expected. Um, that is to be expected. It didn't happen to be much. You know, Wyoming, the drivers are actually really quite good. Yeah. Like, I didn't have any bad, yeah. The roads aren't great for bikes, but the drivers are great. Yeah. So, uh, how was Kentucky for the dogs? I mean, I didn't have any really bad... That's because I sprayed them all. I know, I know. <laughs> well, no, I was a little worried about, like, following behind someone. Like, they're going to be aware of... But... I, did I show you the spray? Well, I had... Then What's I had, that? I had spray the, mounted on my aero bar, and yeah. so I I had twelve dogs come after yeah. me. And I sprayed seven of them. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, yeah, I had a few like all out sprints. Yeah. And once you start, you're committed. Yeah. Because now they're exactly. chasing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I had a couple. On. I had a three dogs John. sprint that. They they can maintain speed for a while. Like oh, I was yeah, like yeah. I got him, I got him. I'm surprised him, how long I'm like I gotta keep sprinting. <laughs> and I afterwards you're like I think I just used a little too much energy yeah. for that one. But um, yeah, it's a split second decision. And once you're committed, you gotta keep going. Yeah, exactly. You gotta keep going. But yeah, luckily no uh, nothing no nothing that got terribly close. Because did you you wrote it during the day? I had, when I left Harrodsburg, I went up past the reservoir. David is on his way. Yeah. I, I left Harrodsburg and I went up past the reservoir and I got onto that kind of flat or undulating stuff. Yeah. And I had the click, click, click mm -hmm. of a dog coming after me. And I looked down and I had a pit bull right on my heels uh, and I got my spray out and I got him and yeah. I thought I was safe and I let up a little bit and then there's this black dog that I couldn't oh, really see because it was pitch yeah. black out. So I gave the old wave of the spray yeah. and I got that SOB. Right. <laughs> it's, yeah. No, it's, what kind of spray are you using? I just had a, it's called Sabre, S-A-B-R-E. and uh, it, Was the gel or the... Uh, it's uh, just a spray and it was in a small... Hmm short cannon you know the uh it's a the, good idea the exposure headlights uh-huh fit that saber can perfectly oh really so i had the arrow bar mount and it clipped into that perfectly oh that's great yeah and then i just a, pull it out that's because you got to have it handy i mean you just don't it's have got, time to react it, it, it's got to be exactly right where there. it was i had a little air horn and i, I thought that would be yeah. a good it, option but it then it didn't work some dogs, but not for all yeah i mean i've had good luck with water like like i said the two dog attacks i've had I wouldn't have had time for anything. Mm -hmm. And once they were on me, I needed both hands just to right, yeah, not just get pulled down. So, right. your, your leg has become famous again. It got reposted. What's that? Your leg, the three of your legs. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That picture got posted. Yeah, yeah. 
That was not my worst dog attack. That was just an individual. Oh my gosh, more. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Anyone else want some? Mm -hmm. Watermelon? This is wonderful. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, I have fruit and anything healthy. I'm going like just fruit and vegetables for a while. Oh, I am God. so sick of eat. junk food. Oh God, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, when I first started doing these, I was like, this is great. I get to eat whatever I want. Yeah. And mm -hmm. kind of enjoyed it. Now it's like the biggest chore <laughs> is eating, honestly. Yeah. Like when I get, when I can eat something substantial, I think, good, now I can go a couple hours without eating again. Yeah. I hate eating. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I hear you. Yeah. It's just, like you've had, like, you know, I, we, we talked, Cliff Bars, everyone gets that, like, aversion to it mm -hmm. and I mean I literally feel like I'm I just have an aversion to so many different things now <laughs> yeah <Sure. laughs> you have enough bad experiences because the problem is you make your choices <laughs> and then eight hours later you're either it's too hot or you're just you don't have enough water to wash it down and you're like well I'm stuck with it well, you know this this is, first these year, are my calories first year I've used Gatorade a lot yeah and it worked really well for this mm -hmm. for the heat this time. But who knows if it'll work next time? I might I not be able to stomach it. Mm -hmm. So that's the problem. Is yeah, you just yeah, you just don't know what you you can mm -hmm. stomach. I mean, I like salty food, but you have to have a lot of liquids for that. Yeah. And then my mouth was so raw this year. I, might, I still have tongue sores. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a rough part, because yeah, mm -hmm. like certain foods taste really good, but they burn. So yeah. much. Yeah, they do. Yeah. No, I, I don't know. I, I get a terrible dry mouth out west. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Like, it wakes me up. Well, and, look at my lips, man. I, yeah, it's like, I know. Oh, yeah. God, I, I was good through Wyoming, and then it was like, it got me. <laughs> you saw my eyes the first night. Yeah. They you, blew they were up. so red. And they turned, it like, they were like golf balls. Like, mm -hmm. you could feel the swelling. Well, that's why and, I asked you that morning if you were feeling okay, because yeah. it was like, I was concerned. They were really bad. I... Well, I had LASIK, and it's been uh -huh. an issue. I mean, I, I lost my vision in one race completely. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was putting in eye drops pretty much every hour, but still having a hard time seeing well. Sure. Mm -hmm. it, that was a real problem for mm -hmm. me, too. I mean, the dryness. The dryness gets me. Yeah. And I have good... I mean, we have the same glasses, I think. Yeah. The I mean, Oakley's. they're good coverage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's those not, are great. For... It's, it's not that. I don't know what else I can do. I just sure. have to put in eye drops constantly. It got... It was fine once I got down to Kansas. I mean, like, everything kind of got better. But mm -hmm. out west with the dry, high altitude, I just... My body just was not doing well. Sure. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is good. Yeah, yeah it is, isn't it? We'll see you I again. Was, I was gonna say thank you again for coming out. Sure. This is great having such a nice crowd. I really do appreciate it. We're getting the band Speedy. back together. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Tom, good to see you. Okay. It's been a better. Very strong. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm just really impressed with that time. I mean, I think it'll come down. I think people will figure out ways to bring it down oh, sure. but, but that's a really good time on your first attempt were you both trying to yeah. have like in the back of your mind were you trying to break his record when you started i was trying to win and yeah, i had a point where i thought i might be able to break it but i also had the pressure from evan and it was like don't try to get the record and lose the possibility of the yeah that's win. A, that would be a big risk if you go yeah. for it i i was probably more time focused than anything but I just, that went out the window early for me. I did not have a good first week. Sure. I had just a couple really bad days that just starting out, coming down. And again, I think I think some of it, I, my body just didn't react well to the the rain, the cold, because um, I did not. I personally I, thought you were underdressed. Did you? Yeah. And so, I mean, that's my that's personal opinion, worn, but yeah. your body is right. your body and you know how to dress yourself. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, I've worn less before. I had a vest, the Gore-Tex, Gore, you know, the Shake Dry, and a big down jacket. My, my, I never wear full rain pants. I always the do three quarters. You lose so much heat out of your feet. And yeah. Then, yeah. You I know. saw. I had the pearl azumi. Those are pretty warm. 
Yeah. I don't know. You've got the, your I calves two sets. are exposed in that. My calves are always exposed. I've done the Tour Divide. Sure. I did the Tour Divide in one of the worst well, weather you, years you, with ex You know yourself. I cannot, I, do, I cannot so. pedal with, I hate full rain pants. Yeah. I just, I, I need something to sort of breathe. Sure. Um, what gets cold for me are hands and hands get really cold. Sure. So I had two sets of, that's been a good for me, two sets of the showers pass. You went through Yellowstone at what time? Middle of the day. See, I went through it. I would say, um, first off, you know, think about it. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily, I'm not going to encourage or discourage someone, but know what you're getting into. There is, first off, safety risk. Um, and I know that every time I do it, I think about it and decide to, you know, risk reward what you're getting out of it. But, you know, just be, just realize there is a safety risk. It's pretty, pretty fresh in my mind right now. Um, I think Craig could talk more about bike nonstop, but I, I know Nathan designed that specifically because it is safer. You use a lot of bike routes. Most of the route is great. It's, it's got a lot of cachet. It's historic. It's a pretty epic route, you know, geographically, but, uh, yeah, there are definitely some some risks, and it's it's a hard route. <laughs> it is a log log route. Virginia's tough. It's it's uh, I think it's a lot easier on paper than it ends up being when when you do it. Although you know it's a great experience, and that's why I say like risk reward. It's just you know everyone's going to have a different threshold. Oh. Can you share your power numbers? Like, what's your? You told me before right. we started this, you had the best power numbers you've had in your life. What is well, that? Well, maybe like not for... quite the best, but like, I guess like an hour threshold would be around 320 ish. You uh, we had don't... 140 pounds. What's that? Yeah, I had 140 pounds. That's insane. So that's yeah, and you know, I, I will tell you when I was chasing Craig, I was keeping up higher power this time for that point in the race than I've ever kept up. So I had four really good days in a row, but. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, this race is not about your hour threshold either. It's about just, and, and to give an example, I mean, gosh, if you can ride at 50% of your threshold uh, as a normalized power, you're really, I, that's hard to do. Like you're at most of the time riding at like between a third to 40% of your threshold. Um, so yeah, an hour threshold can be a little misleading, but that's sort of where, you know, where I started at like this what, what what advice would you give to somebody know what you're getting into and realize that the race people look at the elevation and they see the west and they think that it's over when they're done with the west but it's death by a thousand cuts in the east and it's it's very very difficult and um like Evan said with the power thresholds it's you know it, it, I'm I'm a weak old man, and it's like I'm I'm not even close to what Evan is in power. And uh, do, do you want to share your power number? Do you have an hour I threshold? I think I'm I think I'm like 260, and I weigh 160, so it's not great, but I just can ride all night <laughs> on the bike. I mean, that's that's the if if you don't mind me, like kind of. It's what's so interesting about this race is there's many different ways to yeah. do it, and it's not entirely clear what the. I mean, people win with time on the bike. People win with high power, mm -hmm. and it's it's a balance. And yeah, there's different strategies. Don't dismiss aerodynamics. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that was the thing that allowed me to get an advantage over Evan early in the West was the fact that I had done so much change to my kit in my helmet in my um, jersey that I was able to reduce my uh, drag considerably. And I had taken my... The highest I'd ever been able to get my bike up on descents was 45, and I hit 54 on several descents in the West. And uh, I, I was able to sustain higher speed with less effort than I've ever been able to before. And I was surprised how, how effective the aerodynamic changes were. And I think that, that was what gave me uh, enough of an advantage to get a lead to be able to make Evan work as hard as he had to to be able to hold him off. Otherwise, if I would have gone into this race with what I had prior, I 
it would have might it might have been a different outcome so and knowing that he was racing made me deeply reconsider my choices <laughs> because I consider him such a worthy opponent and uh, I have such an ultimate respect for Evan as a rider and a racer so he is one of the best <laughs> Nice, yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. Well, that was a hell of a race, guys. Yeah, it was fun. Twist, it was fun. And I feel really like, good. I, I, I When I heard, I knew you were going to race, but yeah. when Nathan, he said like a month before Evan just signed up, I'm like, <laughs> I really better get on it. <laughs> <laughs> so I did everything I could to make sure my bike was the most efficient it yeah. could be. No, there's a, yeah. Yeah, no, I think you, you found some good things, including the helmet mount. I didn't even know that existed. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it is weird doing a arrow helmet with a big plastic thing sticking yeah, out. Yeah, well, it's like, I thought of my father. He's like, you spent all that money on a goddamn helmet and you yeah. ruined it the first right. thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's interesting because when you think of aerodynamics in this race, it's not the bike. Those are minor things. It's like, you can still be aerodynamic with your shirt in your helmet, because no matter how much gear you have, those are still exposed. The the the, the right? rider They're... is what seventy yeah, percent of the, of yeah, the it's seventy percent of the uh, drag that mm -hmm. is the total system of the bike. Yeah, and if you've got your jersey, it can be forty watts of drag. Yeah, yeah. We and actually it, had the same jersey, although I got mine like in a scramble. <laughs> Like the week before the race, the shop had ordered jerseys. They didn't come in in time, so I was like scrambling. But so I ended up with the same jersey. Yeah, the Aero Six. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy to get on and off. <laughs> no, I was surprised. I had oh, to be very gosh. careful. I was afraid I was going to rip, rip it. it. Yeah, but it's they're comfortable actually. Yeah, they stretch really well. We worked very good. Oh, yeah. What wheels did you have, Craig? I had the Zip 303s that I ran in 2018. You had 303s the last time I saw you. Yeah, and these are the equivalent of 303s. I think it's the right. For these me. are three fours, right? But the, yeah, the wheels are such a small mm -hmm. uh, right. part of the system. Yeah, it, it's it's minuscule. I mean, it, if you've got them, that's great. Right. But it's not the first thing you want to change. Yeah. Um, and and then this one was just tough because of the cold and all the rain. Yeah. And, um, the I mean that stuff that stuff wears you down and I mean just the first night we lost a few hours. Well, think of how many calories you burn just yeah. trying to keep your body heat up. I know. And then the And I end up in convenience stores like having to spend time to warm up. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't you can't just run in when you're that cold. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it was that was a big stress. The cold. I don't like cold. Yeah, it was quite a stressor. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the heat over the cold any day. Mm -hmm. um, and I did that. No, well, look at uh, what was it, Mateo? Right. That had the uh, trial bike. Yeah. And I, I don't know how you can stay in that position the entire ride. Right, you can't stay in the position, I think. More importantly, are we filming here? Yeah. More importantly on a time trial bike, in my mind, is eating. Yeah. Like, you mentioned that at, at a sister's. That yeah. It's just, it's very difficult to be it's, able to... You're, you're so far over. Your stomach's compressed. I can't imagine eating sure. in that, or just even reaching for food. Mm -hmm. You know? So... How did this setup work for you? I liked it. I really did. I noticed that on the first day, and I was like... You know, it probably works better than the bag I have on my top. I think too. it worked really well. Yeah, this was uh, very last minute. I was trying to design something like a little more, <laughs> a little more advanced with it. Sure. I was working with some company in in Portland, but they were kind of flaky, and uh, so I just bought this on Amazon for fifteen bucks. Sure. I tried the first. My first iteration was a yogurt container, just like a sure. Nancy's yogurt sure. container. Sure. Sure. I was like, this works pretty well. Obviously, I need to do better. And so the silicone worked well. Mm -hmm. This little top thing, we couldn't figure out how to put a top on it. This kind of came together like sure. two nights before the race. So it was all last minute. But I was really happy with it. I mean, I don't know if it's the most aerodynamic, but having something right there at your aero bars well, to me it's is a good better than reaching back. It's a good volume, too. Yeah, it's a good volume. What did, where did you have your most of your 
I had everything in that top two bag, that Revelate bag. Yeah, see my knees come in too tight, so this is about as wide as I can go and I just can't fit much food. Sure. My knees will rub on most things. Yeah, I, I, I've thought about that several times when I've uh, uh, been riding and I'm like, well, I'm lucky that I can get Get your knees. Yeah. yeah. And I think people that do a lot of, yeah, like, yeah. I, I was riding time trial bikes before I started doing, like, the bike packing, and so I'm just used to a really narrow. Sure. Um, I mean, I was able to fit the, usually I can't even use this space, like, you know, those bags that go here, my knees rub. Yeah, I got rid my, of mine. In, yeah. In the first Trans Am, I had one of those bags that fit right there, and it was like, it kept interfering, and mm -hmm. uh, I ended up having to move it off the bike because it was th I was throwing my knee out and I wasn't even right. aware of it and I was wondering why I was starting to develop knee issues right. and it's like oh I see <laughs> I mean even most saddlebags I rub so the the Ortlieb actually works well because it's it's got some structure I was and it surprised keeps it to see you with that because you had always uh, used the other the uh, Revelate yeah yeah I think the Ortlieb I mean just the waterproof they're much they're they're waterproof they're, they're truly cool. water truly waterproof it's a good bag it's a really good bag so yeah no i think in terms of setup mm -hmm. i think just a standard road bike i just can't see so many of the bikes now have everything integrated which is a risk mm -hmm. or they're you know i just can't see where aerodynamics like when you're putting one liter bottles on you have a frame pump you're taping tubes like, I just can't see, it. Will, you know, some of the integrated stuff up here might be nice just to get rid of some of the cables. Mm -hmm. But other than that, um, I think it's just a standard road bike. I just can't see, I mean, it seems great sure. to try a time trial bike, but I agree with you, the position, the comfort, well, the, the handling, mm -hmm. uh, it's, just, it's just too long a race, I think. What I've so, read about the, uh time trial bikes in aerodynamic uh, performance uh, is that they just don't they're, they're better frame but they're not that much better right right so i mean the advantage just isn't there i mean isn't there to justify the, the yeah the challenges yeah yeah exactly yeah what did you write on i write a, a 2018 roubaix or a specialized roubaix uh pro level model so, so are you running electronic shifting or are you? No, I, I've got cable hydraulic. So he's got DI too. Mm -hmm. What's your gearing? I use uh, 5034 or uh, yeah, 5034, 1134, 11 speed. What are you running? I went 5034, 1130 and I was standing a lot. But I stand a lot on climbs anyway when I'm tired. But yeah, actually, I don't feel like you I needed any more gears. Yeah, at an 11:30. What's your weight on your bike? What's that? What's the weight of the bike loaded? Oh, I have no idea. Never really? weighed it. Yeah. I weigh mine all the time. Uh, I've never weighed mine. What is, what's the weight of your whole kit, bike, and everything? Me, me. The whole system is right around 204. So, I mean, that's loaded with water. I only weigh 140, so I mean, I don't mind stuff. I don't know. I don't know how much gear I've never weighed. My body weights it. 160 yeah. to 165. So, I mean, we probably have a similar amount of like gear. Yeah. Sure. Um, I mean, I, I would suggest that most people go a little bit lower gearing. 1134 is smarter. I just, I just like. Really I had a standard. What's that? I'm surprised you went 1130 after. Yeah, that's funny. They all I, 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 in 2017, I ran 1128. I know, and I thought that you, when we rode, I was surprised that you said that you know that you didn't like that gear and that it was a little too much. I was, I thought it you was a little too a, much. I thought you would have gone at least 1132. You know, I, I just, I, I like the standard cassette and. Um, I, when I'm tired, like I'm low cadence and I stand a lot I do the when same. I'm fatigued, like in a, when I'm fresh, I spin more. So I just, I felt like I never felt like I needed more gears. Cause have a lot of similar riding style. Yeah. I mean, that's what you do and you lose yeah. all your fast twitch muscles. Yeah. So you're like, you're kind of grinding and almost standing in I could stand for like miles. 
I stand and sing yeah. with a rhythm. <laughs> And so yeah. it's like it, it, that that singing gives me that rhythm. The that, rhythm. That stays and I can really cruise. Yeah. Yeah. So no, late it's... night, you know, I, there's some nights that I, I've got enough food in me, my energy's right, mm -hmm. and I just fly. Yeah. And I love yeah. those nights. Yeah. So it's yeah. a night like tonight where it's like. This is nice. Just the perfect temperature, this moon's out. Yeah. And, I think oh, you like riding at night more than I do. I rarely oh, enjoy so riding at night. Oh, uh, you I know what it. though? I, I shouldn't say that. It's always tough, the transition. In sure. tonight, for me, is always tough. Once I'm there, at night then i get into more of a rhythm but i'm more of a morning person although i found that my energy dipped like i've had the sleepies you know where you start like first Between light nine to eleven is I the was worst time I'm the same. If there's something with the mel it's, it's something about the circadian rhythm i i have the same problem like you think when light when you, when it gets light you get more energy but there are definitely those are like the, that's these when i had times. a nap during this race yeah. i was totally surprised because there's the other races like steams mazama and uh the mm -hmm. first trans am where when the sun came up i felt more energized right. but this time no, i got sleepy in the i was getting really drowsy mm -hmm. absolutely i was the no dose express for yeah yeah <laughs> for, I days, tried some man. Nodos. My problem is I need them for the caffeine, but they just, I don't feel good with that much. I don't drink coffee generally, sure. so I bring a bunch of mate tea pills. Mm -hmm. it, all it is is just loose herba mate, sure. but that's not enough caffeine <laughs> once the race really gets into yeah. it. I was drinking a lot of Mountain Dew, which I normally don't like to do oh, so early. Yeah, that stuff's, that stuff's nasty. Wow, you made it through the entire video. Good job. Congratulations to all the racers this year, and thanks to Evan and Craig for letting me film them. That's it for today. I'll see you on the road.